Have you thought about building a full-wheel drive electric bike or a scooter? If yes, then you have probably wondered if it is possible to connect two brushless motors to one controller. Let's find out. The result of this test may surprise you. For this test, I use two identical brushless hub motors. These motors have a regular three-phase power connection and three whole sensor outputs. If you know how this technology works, by now you're probably saying impossible. And in theory, you are right. But let's see how these motors actually behave when connected to a single controller like this basic brushless controller designed for an e-bike. I mounted all components to a piece of plywood to keep these wheels in place. For the throttle, I use a regular potentiometer so I could set the rotation to a constant speed. First, let's power up just one motor to have a reference point for this test. Controlling power with a potentiometer works great. So, let's connect the second motor. First, I will connect only the power wires to see what will happen. Now watch this. They actually spin in the same direction and almost at the same speed, although only one set of whole sensors is connected to the controller. The master motor is on the right with whole sensors connected to the controller and the slave motor is on the left. This works because they are identical. They share the same size and configuration of windings inside the motor. So the slave is receiving power pulses at just the right timing, although there is actually no feedback coming to the controller from that slave motor. Now, when I slow down the slave motor, it drops out of phase, resulting in this trembling. When I slow down the master motor, it just slows down the slave motor. This test already tells us that connecting two brushless motors in parallel just might be possible. Don't get confused by the because this is actually not such a big problem. In the next test I will explain why. So now I will connect all the sensor wires in parallel. At this point I was about 150% sure that they won't spin and maybe even damage the whole sensors. So let's see what happened. I'm slowly increasing power. And to my surprise they started spinning almost at the same speed. And now, when slowed down, both of them reacted the same way by dropping out of phase. Which makes no sense at all. Since when this happens, the controller receives two different sensor signals. And in theory, when one motor is slowed down, it should at least affect the second motor in some way. But the second motor just keeps spinning. And here is what really made my day. When I applied similar resistance on both motors, they actually continued to give a lot of torque without problems. It wasn't perfect, there was still some phase dropping, but this is mostly because my hands can't deliver identical resistance to both of them, resulting in different rotation speeds. Now check this out. If you noticed, the phase on these brushless motors can actually have an offset. When I applied resistance to one of the motors, it doesn't drop out of phase right away. That means that these motors can indeed rotate at a little bit different speeds and still work okay with one controller. And that's all we need, because these wheels will be mounted at the front and at the end of a two-wheel vehicle. While making the same turn, the difference between speeds will be minimal compared to if they were mounted on the same axle, like on a four-wheel vehicle. So there won't be as much difference in rotation speeds between wheels when turning. Also, when you make a turn, you often are braking at the same time. So you're not applying power there anyways. So I think I just may try to build a full wheel drive e-scooter with this setup. But I think I will only connect one set of sensors. I have a feeling that having two of them connected is just not necessary. Also, there is a question of efficiency compared to a setup with two controllers. So stay tuned for that project and subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Thanks for watching.